we're live? What? Top we're top. always okay. live. We're, we're always, always live. I see what you're doing. That's you the can show thing, but exactly. I see what you're doing on so, the video. So, uh, okay. no, Any no, 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 no. Anyways. Uh, is that what we did with the whole fourth okay. Hey, it's Batena from Cinema Athlete, and you're watching Dine with the Khan. I turned pescatarian like a year and a half ago. Okay. How's that? So I, it's great. Right? It's actually great for somebody that was a like hardcore carnivore, red meat eater. You know, almost like six days out of the week. Mm -hmm. It was like an overnight decision. We've come out of a vegan. Like that vegan. Did you hear about the <laughs> vegan? <laughs> right, the you vegan. are. Let's not lie. Let's not lie you know? okay. to the public. We're the worst vegan. You were experimental vegan. We were experimental vegan. Okay, this is all for you. For the record, let's explain why ve vega veganitis, as we veganitis. know, it, occurred. Right. Yeah. Um, someone in our okay, PR team vegans said, are deprived. someone said, uh, OT's dealing, with, we're not talking about fitness as a whole, we're only talking about <laughs> working out. So let's look at the nutrition side. So of course I turned up the knob and said, let's go vegan. <laughs> <laughs> that's yeah, well that's the thing. Yeah. I mean, it's like the peer pressure, you know, right? it's, it's not conducive yes, to it was like transformational. Pressure. You know, self development. I uh, I love OT's yeah. expressions in every single bite. Okay. OT was oh, yeah. unhappy, an unhappy OT for a month. When the lights dim before you turn on a movie, you are completely receptive to whatever is gonna happen. You and the people in the audience. This moment of magic is everything I bank my life on. Because in that moment, I know I can completely control you. I make that up. I do that. So. It's done. I've been. I drank the Kool Aid. Did <laughs> you know what I mean? But I thank you for saying that because that's something that I've completely kind of, you know, surrendered to. Yeah. You know the the the, the disarming kind of, and I, I hate to I hate to place escapism as the as the sort of the, 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 the phenomenon you know of film going because it's not escapism when no. you are like releasing yourself to the mercy of you know of a narrative or a story you yeah. know i think there is an exchange that happens it's not just you running away be, there is such a thing as escapism yeah. it exists there, there are is. things this content that's What's created the exchange? the exchange is you allowing yourself to open up to what you are being presented with you actively choosing to interact with whatever is you know is, is, is it's it's proposing it will do for you and it will present to you and the film being received by you, getting some sort of space to, to, to exist in the world. What because you, you are all like... So as coming in with films, that openness to yeah. kind of wa wanting the, to absorb it. It's and like, that's one way. The other yeah. way is actually like, you know, at the end of the day, those films and those stories and those ideas are all living in the world, not just on the big screens, they're living through us. Yeah. They're living through our memories, our recollections, our impulses, our sharings, our ruminations, like all of these different things are the only way in which cultural production lives. But attention is attention is one very, very important currency and permission is another. Yes, absolutely. You know, and I think that's what happens with films also. and ideas because you're not only there, you know, in presence, in mind, in body. When yeah. you get into a film and you go and experience, you know, a show or you experience, you know, even even works of art, you know, that you allow the work or the space or the voice, you know, permission to either narrate a perspective. So that's when you look at like regional cinema yeah. and your own stories, you're allowing the filmmaker to narrate your world, mm -hmm. or you're allowing a filmmaker to enter into your consciousness and your universe and present their perspective. And I think that is the only way that you can respectfully, genuinely engage, truly engage with film. Thank you.